the German lady also worked hard, even though they have their own money, they still went to the street to beg for Akum's food. That should be the way when you go to your house, you must make sure that every kitchen is updated, the well-being of the house is updated, rainwater is updated, the solar is updated for your parents, otherwise you have no right. Thirty-first story from the Gateless Gate, from the book Zen Flesh, Zen Bones, written by Paul Reps. Joshua investigates. So what I'm telling is the lady, the German lady also worked hard, even though they have their own money, they still went to the street to beg for Akum's school. That should be the way when you go to your house, you must make sure that every kitchen is updated, the well-being of the house is updated, rainwater is updated, the solar is updated for your parents. Otherwise, you have no right. You carry money. You collect money. Like the German lady can go and collect money in the street by selling cakes. <laughs> that is wisdom. Popular temple is supposed to give wisdom to the one who worships there. You all rush up to Dharmasthana, Kukke Supramani Devarsthana, Tirupadi, Ayappa Devarsthana. All going there to eat. You eat, you come, you go suffering. You have no proper thinking at all. You think by going either in your beautiful car, if you are a politician, either in the bus to push and pull, the roads are so bad, you suffer a lot. People there suffer, there's no proper toilet facilities, no proper food facilities, and still you torture yourself and come. When you torture yourself, you're torturing the temple also. You have not contributed anything to the temple. You just went, you dumped some money. You didn't contribute. The temple also is equally responsible for it. That two-way traffic was not there. Hence, the wisdom has not come. Because the wisdom has not come, we had poverty. Participation went wrong. Nobody is participating. Everybody going there to tell whether this is wrong and that is wrong. Many people come to my place. Oh, look, Mr. Rakum, this is dirty. Your kitchen is dirty. The toilet is dirty. I said, if it is dirty, why don't you clean it up? Don't come and throw me philosophy. These children... And this school belongs to the community. We are all working very hard. Don't come here and just come, come with a pants, shirt, suit, coat and don't tell me that is dirty. If it is dirty, pull in funds. Correct it up for me. <laughs> Participate. Don't come here to tell me what is good and what is bad. <laughs> One who worshipped the old woman said, go straight ahead. When the monk proceeded a few steps, she said to herself, he also is a common church goer. <laughs> He knows people are going to the temple. They're just going like as if mass hypnotism. Just like even you are a monk and then you wanted to see many, many temples. What about your own temple? You ran away from the temple because you were fed up with your master. The master has been taking care of all the people who are coming. As if you 12 years passed, you ran away from the master. And you're passing near the, the monk was passing near the um, market and he heard he was walking past the butcher shop. He heard the butcher screaming at the customer. Everything in my shop is the best because the customer asked, give me the best piece of meat in your shop. And the butcher said, everything in my shop is the best. For a second, the monk was shocked. <laughs> every, a butcher, even for a meat, every piece for him is the best. He loved his children, he loved his wife, he loved his family, he loved his joint family, family tree, he loved his nation because he worked hard and he felt everything is best because he worked hard to make sure that the trees are watered, rainwater housing done, solar has been done. <laughs> he cannot be just like any common church goer. She knew she was watching these people going and unless they're going there, eating and coming here, what kind of worship by entering the temple? You think the temple will become better or you will be become better? Another mad people? <laughs> Madness has created mass hypnotism and created literacy. They're telling you're educated. You're educated. You're a got degree, double degree, the triple degree. You got a post-graduation. Nothing. All shit. If you don't participate. <laughs> Bookish ideas might give you a slavery job, a slave job but not a healthy mind, a beautiful life. Someone told the incident to Joshua who said, wait until I investigate. <laughs> the next day he went and said, asked the same question and the old woman gave the same answer. Joshua remarked, I have investigated that old woman. He said, I'll go and investigate. Joshua went, he understood the old woman is so beautiful. She does his job. She can also go inside the temple and come back, but she was working hard to feed a family. She tried to create her own house. 
worked hard. That investigation, that maturity was what Joshua was telling. Your maturity, you don't have to go from jumping from temple to temple. Make your own temple the best and then you can see the whole world comes behind you. Raghav School's one success story was, we were given the very first year to, to conduct the annual day celebration in the NDK Kalyana Mandap by, uh, by Bagil Thaya, who was the IPS officer, retired uh, IPS officer, who was the director general of police, I think so, who was having his own business, Ajinta Hotel also. Bagil Thaya, sir, told me, okay, you can have the uh, NDK Kalyana Mandap for the annual day celebration. When I went there, the manager said, he gave me the low portion where they are serving the food. I said, no, no, if you give me, give me the full thing. So full thing that time, that is, I'm talking about 1999, that time they were charging 65,000, such a big amount. 65,000, this whole thing, I said, I don't know, no. if you're giving, give me, don't tell me I'm poor or rich, give me, give me full, otherwise I won't take it. So Bhagil the sir says, give, whatever Guruji has, give. So we got it. And three days, the whole school was running to NTK Kalyano, coming, going, coming, going. And our collections <laughs> went down. My children were on this side and that side running. I couldn't control them. And second thing I thought, my banners are there in front of NTK Kalyano Mandap. They are getting the publicity. What about me? But I don't have a place. But I thought, I have a place. I can find out a place. Where? What did I do? Very next program onwards, I put it right in the road, right outside. <laughs> on the road, we put up the shamina. And the road police did not stop us. Everybody is in love with us. A lot of people we were watching before we got the back set uh, property, which is on um, what do you call it? litigation. The front portion we ran. And seeing that, Ragan School grown. We sat there 24 hours and 365 days. Worship was working. Every one day, one improvement. <laughs> From Kasurgur, uh, uh, from Ananda Ashram, Swamiji came to Rakam School and I, Swamiji said, In our Ashram, we don't do anything. Only from morning to evening, Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai. We only do the mantra with the Rudraksha. And we do crows and crows of Sri Ram. He, he didn't say crows. He said crows and crows of Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Crows means millions, millions of times Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai and. People came and gave us crores, millions of rupees. I said, oh, really? <laughs> I may call the jail. Let us do not Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai, but Karma Yoga. Keep doing work without expecting to Keep the area as much as possible. Take as many students as possible. Update it up. Go to the highest from zero to hero, from kindergarten to post-graduation. <laughs> and we succeeded from kindergarten to post-graduation, plus BN, plus KS, IAS. <laughs> Yes, it was possible. Worship. I have investigated that old woman, 